Hi everyone, and in today's video we will talk about a roadmap to become a data analyst. If you don't know me, I'm Karina, I'm finance person turned data analyst turned data scientist. And this video I'm making in Barcelona. This video will not be one of those where I say how to become data analyst in 30 days. Unfortunately, it is impossible. I will mention skills which I believe is a minimal requirement to become a junior data analyst. This journey involves technical and soft skills. And let's start with technical. If I decided to become a data analyst today, the first tool I will learn is Excel. And you might think that Excel is not sexy, it's not programming, but it is a tool that is widely used today. And remember, when you're working in companies, it's not only about you, it's about the people you work with, so people in other departments, there would be people in finance, in marketing, it will be board of directors, and most of them will not know Python. Even if the organization you work for has Power BI and Tableau, I believe that people still export those reports into Excel and do their own analysis. If you're working for a startup, you will definitely work with Excel. If you're working for a company that has external suppliers, for example, affiliate marketing, you will get some reports from those companies which are in Excel. Plus, today Excel has integration with Python. It also has the regex, which is regular expression, so you can export different parts of the text, like email addresses, phone numbers, etc. So it's getting more and more sophisticated every day. I have my personal story related to Excel. When I got my job at KPMG, I remember at the interview I said that I'm an advanced user. And during an onboarding week, we had Excel training, and this is when I realized that I know nothing. Inclusion is you don't know what you don't know. And if you've never seen how advanced users use Excel, you probably don't know about its capabilities. Also, Excel will introduce you to tabular data. Same what you will be using in SQL, same what you will be using in Python with Pandas library. I think it is a great first step in your data analytics technical journey and then you will build up on top of this tool. And also Power BI looks so much like Power Query in Excel. So you see, by learning Excel, you're helping yourself to learn other tools. That's why I believe it will be a smooth transition from tool to tool. What you should be learning in Excel. Here is my list. You need to start with some average and count. And then of course you need to advance into some if, some ifs, count if, count ifs, if, ifs, not, and, or. Lookups are your best friends. VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP and XLOOKUP and VLOOKUP is for example left joining SQL. And again, by learning this, you help yourself to understand how joins in SQL work. Alternative to lookups is index match and offset, so definitely learn them. Left, right and mid will help you to get different information from strings. And then text to column, remove duplicates and obviously big module or chunk of things that you need to learn in Excel is pivot tables. As a data analyst, you will work a lot with pivot tables. I have a bird who joined me. <laughs> Distracting. Okay. Also learn day, month, week and day div because you will be working with timestamps. And I think this is enough for your Excel, but you can of course continue learning power queries, tables, etc. And your journey with Excel will never end because even 15 years later, you will still Google how to find something and how to do something. So it is a process. It is like learning foreign languages. It never stops. The next tool you should be learning, in my opinion, is SQL. And the thing you should be focusing on are you will start with, of course, a select function, but then move into aggregate functions like count, count distinct. Then you need to move into joints, left join, right join, outer and inner joints, and left join it will remind you will look up. And of course, there are also union, union all, which is VStack in Excel. You need to learn how to group data, so using group by, having, how to sort in other ways, order your data, how to use AND and OR, which is again similar to Excel. You need to learn how to cast your strings, use different date functions like date part, date interval, date div. Learn how to use case one, and this is something you will be using in Python too, so you see how one tool transitions into another. And one of the things that I really like to do is a raw number, and you will use them a lot. In my opinion, as a data analyst, you will probably never create tables. So how to create, alter or delete table, 
it's not something you should be focusing on. Of course, you will be creating temporary tables to help you with queries. But to be honest, I haven't seen that many data analysts who create the whole databases, who create tables inside of those databases, because companies have DBAs, so database administrators, and this is their job. In SQL, a focus on how to extract, aggregate, clean and manipulate the data. I'm often asked what certification is important to land your data analysts of all, what courses are the best, and my answer is do your own research. And what I mean, go to LinkedIn and find your dream companies. Find the companies you want to work for. Check profiles of the people who are already working for those companies. Check what certification and indications they have and what skills they have. And this will be more accurate than some person on internet told you. Also, when people ask me, should they be learning Power BI or Tableau? Should they be focusing on R and Python? And I have the same answer. Do your research on LinkedIn and job posting websites. Find 10 companies that you would be dreaming to work for and check what job listings they have and what tools they ask for. And that will be your answer. If everyone asks for Python, learn Python. If people ask for Tableau, focus on Tableau. The next tool I would be focusing on is a visualization tool. So either Power BI or Tableau. And based on the research you've just done, you will know what tool is more popular in the country you live in. There is Tableau Public, which is free. Also Tableau provides discounts for students and they have 14 days trial. So there is a way to learn Tableau and Power BI is free. I know a person who've done Power BI certification and this person has the most amazing Power BI skills I've ever seen. But to be honest, I don't know if it is the person or the certification. I think it's her skills that are outstanding. But when people ask me what certificate to get, I always recommend them to get Power BI certificate. And with Power BI and Tableau, there are so many creators who share content online for free and there are courses that you can do to improve your skills. These tools are constantly evolving, so I will not put any timestamps and timeframes on how long you should spend to become a confident user. There are always new functions, new features, so again, education will never stop. But again, if you dedicate several hours a day for a month or several months, I am pretty sure you will conquer this tool. So the next tool you will be focusing on is finally programming. And it will be either R or Python. Again, based on your research, you will know what fits you better. I think Python is more universal. It has so many libraries. I started learning R at the age of 27. I know a lot of people studied it at university. It wasn't my case. And then I didn't want to transition in Python for a long time, but I started facing some issues where libraries were available in Python to work with the text especially, but were not available in R. Also, when I start working with AWS, uh, S3 code written in Python was much more easier to integrate. There was even a time when I would write a code in R and then rewrite it in Python, and it was a lot of time wasted. I convinced myself that I need to dedicate some time and become a confident Python user. And if you don't know where to start with Python, you don't know if programming is for you, I created a data analysis with Python masterclass. It is two and a half hours masterclass that consists of three parts. In the first part, we talk about data types, data modules and data libraries. In the second part, we talk about pandas library and how to clean and manipulate data using pandas. You will learn how to create new columns, delete them, sort data, group data and pivot data. And in the third part of the masterclass, you will learn about Matplot library and how to create different types of visuals using this library. Also, you will have 16 home tasks to practice your skills. And within the educational platform, you can ask me questions and I can help you with the material if you stuck somewhere. If you're interested in doing masterclass, link in the description and in my bio. So the minimum things that I think you should learn in Python and R is how to upload data, how to clean it, manipulate, again, aggregate, group, pivot, and how to visualize your data. Once you learn Excel, SQL, and one visualization tool, you're already ready for a junior data analyst role so you can start applying. 
while you're applying and waiting for interviews so you can continue your journey and you can continue learning tools like R and Python. You also need to understand that you will never be fully ready for your job. So whether you have 10 years of experience or a couple of months of experience. Also having an interview with a company is a practice and it's getting easier and better with every time. So you need to get a match fit. You need to go in interviews and practice and craft your story. And since you're new to this field, you need to create a portfolio. By portfolio, I mean a projects you work on. So in your portfolio, there would be several projects you worked on and they need to be done properly. And what I mean, for example, you created a project using Python. So it needs to have a readme file where you explain what you've done, where the data comes from, what was your thought process, what the steps you took, then the whole code and visuals and conclusions of what you've done. This is a way for your employer to understand what skills you have and what can you bring to the table. How many projects you should add to your portfolio? To be honest, I believe one, but the one you're really proud of. Because HR managers, they don't have time to look through all the projects you've done. So maybe when you come to an interview and you've been interviewed, you can talk about other projects you've done. But for your portfolio, pick one, the one that you're really, really proud of. Same thing for the same thing for your Power BI and Tableau portfolio. You will create dashboards and add some readme file where you explain what you've done, what the steps you've done, what was your thought process and conclusions and what you tried to achieve. And we spoke about technical skills, but there are also soft skills, which I believe actually harder to learn than technical skills. And in my opinion, the soft skills you need to learn data analyst job is accountability, responsibility, time management, business understanding and storytelling. And again, like everything in our life, these things improve with practice. It's hard to pick one that is the most important out of those soft skills, but I would probably say business understanding and storytelling. When you start working for a company, even before you went for an interview, use their product. So if it's an app company, download the app, go through the whole onboarding process. And then at the interview, you can even ask questions. That's not obligatory, but a lot of companies will actually ask you, have you downloaded our app by using the product? Product, your company sell you can improve business understanding you can understand what are these metrics you see in a database what do they mean that will help you to become a better data analyst well I think that's it for technical uh, skills if you're interested I can make another video and go into details about soft skills necessary to advance in your data analytics career let me know if you're interested to hear the roadmap for data scientists don't forget to click like and subscribe I hope to see you next time and I will go and explore Barcelona.